Hey guys, this is Bolo and today in the short and quick tutorial, I will show how we can make objects follow camera movement easily. So without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here I have created the small scene for this tutorial purpose where the ball will be bouncing on the object. So here I want to add a camera and I want that camera to follow the ball movement. So let me show you how to do that. So let's create a camera first. So go to this add camera. So here we can see we got our camera created here. So if you want to see through camera, press zero on the keyboard to see through camera. So now press N on the keyboard and enable this lock to 3D cursor and also this option. So now we can adjust the position of our camera. So let's close this. So press N to close this. So now if I play this, you can see the ball is falling down, whereas the camera is staying in its position only. So let's see how we can make the camera to follow the sphere. So first of all, we need to set the cursor point at the center of the sphere here. So here you can see the world axis point is here. So we need to bring that to the sphere. So select the sphere, shift S and select this cursor to select it. Now you can see we got that world axis point here. So press zero to see through camera. So now let's add an empty. So go to this add empty and select this plane axis. Let's increase the scaling here. Okay. Now select the camera, hold shift key and select this empty which we have created. Control P and parent to object. So now if I play this, you can see nothing seems to be working. So here we will be using constants to make the camera follow the ball movement or spear movement. So for that select the empty here, come to this constant properties, add object constant and copy location. So in target, we will select the sphere. So now if I play this, you can see the camera is following the object. But here we are getting that jumping kind of feel. So whenever the ball is jumping, the camera is also seems to bouncing. So let's fix that. So for that, let's change this to graph editor. So change this to graph editor. Press F3 on the keyboard and search for bake. So basically we are baking the camera animation here. So select this object animation and bake action. So after that enable this visual keying option, enable this option and here we can set the frames and hit OK. So now we can see we got the graphs here right. Now select this empty and delete the constraint property. So delete that property here. Now press A on the keyboard so that all the keyframes will be selected. Now go to this key option smooth and select this smooth legacy so if you play this you can see still we are getting that jumping kind of thing so still you can further smooth it out so go to this key smooth and smooth legacy alt F you can repeat this multiple times till you get the smooth moment of our camera and let's see this once again so now if i play this you can see the camera is not bouncing only it is following the movement of the object so in this way we can make camera follow the object movements in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye